Now, if you are really sincere, if you really want freedom, and if your heart is really pure, and you really want a way out to meet the real you, the illustrious you, and the divine presence within you, will give you the means and carry you through. You may call on the fairies and the angels and the cosmic knights of the round table to assist you. Existence will put a master onto your path to guide you beyond your mind, beyond the illusion of separation and beyond the illusion of free will so you can meet your true self and merge with Her Majesty, Lord God, so that you may realize and become the oneness that you already are. And yet, the way out is scary. So all of us who've been on this spiritual path have been experiencing and been receiving, having glimpses is and going through this duality within yourself that you're questioning your path, you're questioning where you're at, you're questioning your practice, which is very valid. And of course, you have to be questioning teachers and their practices to see if it's sincere and if it's genuine and see if you resonate with them and if they're, they're working for you or not. You always have to question it. It's very important. And check in with your own heart and see if this is right for you or not, if it resonates with you. And kind of not pay too much attention to what other people are saying, because that could be very deceiving, what other people are saying, or being blind in following someone because everybody else is following him. That doesn't mean anything. Papaji, my sat guru, always used to say, you don't measure the power of a master of an enlightened being by the number of their followers. That's not how you measure it. Sai Baba in uh, India, he had like a million followers always at his ashram. But that doesn't mean anything. So Papaji had about 150 people around him. So that's not what you're going to use to measure that. You have to use your own heart. Pay attention to your own GPS and see what feels right, whether you resonate with it. Don't pay attention to what other people are doing. It doesn't matter what they're doing. Majority of people are blind and they're followers and they're like sheep. They'll go where everybody else goes. That's not the way out. You have to find your own way. And you have to be like a lion. Where the lion goes, he cuts his own path. Lions don't follow anyone else's paths. They just walk their own path. And wherever they go, they create the new path. So you need to do the same thing. Follow your own heart. Whatever your heart says. And you go that direction. You tune into this one because this is the one that tells you the truth. Okay? It's very important you tune in and you check in with your heart and do the right thing. What feels right for you? And not be afraid because you can make mistakes. And that's a part of that's a part of the deal. You have to make mistakes. Now, the true way out is scary and it's frightening because when you're on this path and you're called home, 
So what happens is Her Majesty, the Supreme Being, the big kahuna, the creator of the world, that which resides in your heart. And you have to remember there is no separation between you and I and the creator of the world. Because your pulse, your heart, your breath is the breath of the supreme soul. Otherwise, you wouldn't be alive right now. If you're breathing, that means the supreme being is breathing through you and there is love. So when the supreme, Her Majesty, God, shows herself to you, you cannot go find God on your own. It doesn't work that way. God chooses to show herself to you. You don't choose to see God. Even if you may feel like you did, it's not that way. God chooses to, to show herself to you and gives you a taste of herself. So sometimes... You have to understand, you are in this world and you have a curtain in front of you. You're in this curtain. It's like being in a compartment, a train compartment. And you're separated from all these other compartments by a curtain. So you can't see what's going on. And sometimes when you're ripe, you're ready. It's like your you're ripe fruit or your clothes, the curtain opens up. God opens up the curtain and shows her face to you. And she gives you a kiss. And from then on, you're impregnated by the love of God. You get pregnant. A seed is planted inside you. And God has impregnated you. So you don't have a choice from then on. This love begins to grow within you. And the love affair begins. You have no way out. You can't go back. You can't revert things. You can't say, I don't want to be into this anymore. It's finished. You don't have a choice anymore. Finito. Now, until you're completely consumed by the fire of God, they won't leave you alone. So, when this happens, it's like you're pushing, it's like a caterpillar. The worm is there, and... It wants to push through and open up its wings. It wants to push through out of its shell. So the caterpillar is pushing from inside to break through. And something, some force from the outside is pulling. So it's the same thing happening here. It's, you're in love and something is really pulling you, but in the meantime, you have barriers in front of you. It's your mind. Your thinking mind is blocking you. Your fear, your emotions come. You're afraid because the way out is scary. You're trying to break through and go out. Something's really pulling you very strongly, but you don't have the spiritual maturity yet to understand what is happening. So it's very frightening. You're really afraid of what's going on. 